In this video, we pay tribute to the celebrities who tragically passed away today. Join us as we remember their incredible contributions to the entertainment industry and the impact they had on our lives. From legendary actors to renowned musicians, this video is a heartfelt acknowledgement of their talent and legacy. Stay tuned as we honor these beloved stars and reflect on their extraordinary careers. Jacques Duval. He was a Canadian journalist, writer, and racing driver. In 1952, he became an announcer for the radio station CKCV in Quebec City and CINF in Montreal. He founded the annual Almanac Le Guide de Laudo, of which he served as editor-in-chief from 1967 to 2003. Duval was the first Canadian to participate in the 24 Hours of Daytona in 1971. He wrote columns in La Presa and hosted shows on Radio Canada, TVA, Canal Vox, and Canal Evasion. In the 1990s, he became an advisor for Ford, which faced backlash and accusations that he would no longer be able to remain neutral in Le Guide de Laudo. He resigned after a few years. He was born on 21st of June, 1934. He died on 6th of February, 2024, at the age of 89, died following a long illness. And Whitfield. She was an American actress on old-time radio, television, stage, and film. Her first name is sometimes seen spelled M. In 1949, Whitfield appeared in theatrical productions of Annie Get Your Gun and Showboat, both in Los Angeles, California. On film, she played Susan Waverly in White Christmas, 1954, and appeared in Juvenile Jungle, 1958, and Tick, 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 1970. Whitfield played Claudia Barber in the TV version of One Man's Family. She was born on 27th of August, 1938. She died on 15th of February, 2024, at the age of 85, died unexpectedly after an incident whilst walking in her neighborhood in Washington. Lyudmila Alfimova. She was a Ukrainian actress. She graduated from the Kharkiv Theater Institute in 1958 and began working for Dovzenko Film Studios. She known for Summer of Youth, 1959, Wedding in Malinovka, 1967, and for Two Zeitzyam, 1961. She was born on 4th of September, 1935. She died on 22nd of February, 2024, at the age of 88, died of natural causes. Bob Heil. He was an American sound and radio engineer most well known for creating the template for modern rock sound systems. He founded the company Heil Sound in 1966, which went on to create unique touring sound systems for bands such as The Grateful Dead and The Who. Heil won multiple awards and honors, and in 2007 he was invited to exhibit at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. In the late 1980s, Heil Sound entered the home theater movement, becoming popular in the United States. He was born on 5th of October, 1940. Heil died from cancer in Illinois, died on 28th of February, 2024, at the age of 83. Paul Vachon. He was a Canadian professional wrestler. He was a member of the Vachon wrestling family. He is perhaps best known by his ring name Butcher Vachon. In the early 1970s, he appeared alongside his sister Vivian Vachon in the motion picture Wrestling Queen. He wrestled in the American Wrestling Association, World Wrestling Federation, now WWE, National Wrestling Alliance, and Georgia Championship Wrestling, later would become WCW. After his wrestling career, Paul Vachon joined the NDP and ran as a federal candidate in 1988. He was born on 7th of October, 1937. He also self-published an autobiography titled When Wrestling Was Real. He died on 29th of February, 2024, at the age of 86, died from colon cancer. Paolo Taviani. He was an Italian film director and screenwriter. Paolo Taviani studied liberal arts at the University of Pisa, becoming interested in the cinema after seeing Roberto Rossellini's Paisan, 1946. After writing and directing short films and plays with his brother Vittorio, 
he made his first feature in 1962. The brothers have continued to work together ever since, with each directing alternate scenes with the other watching, but never interfering. He was born on 8th of November, 1931. He died on 29th of February, 2024, at the age of 92, died from a short illness. Iris Apfel. She was an American businesswoman, interior designer, fashion designer, and actress. In business with her husband, Carl, from 1950 to 1992, Apfel had a career in textiles, including a contract with the White House that spanned nine presidencies. In retirement, she drew acclaim for a 2005 show at the Costume Institute at the Metropolitan Museum of Art featuring her collection of costume jewelry and styled with clothes on mannequins as she would wear them. She became a fashion icon, was signed to IMG in 2019 as a model at age 97, and was featured in a 2014 documentary called Iris by Albert Mays Less. Apple studied art history at New York University and attended art school at the University of Wisconsin. She was born on 29th of August, 1921. In 2019, at the age of 97, she signed a modeling contract with global agency IMG. She died on March 1st, 2024, at the age of 102. No cause of death was given. David Bordwell he was an American film theorist and film historian. After receiving his PhD from the University of Iowa in 1974, he wrote more than 15 volumes on the subject of cinema, including narration in the fiction film, OZU, and the poetics of cinema, making meaning, and on the history of film style. Bordwell spent nearly the entirety of his career as a professor of film at the University of Wisconsin, Madison, retiring in 2004. He was born on 23rd of July, 1947. He died on 29th of February, 2024, at the age of 76. Died from degenerative lung disease, 